An anti-gay ad in Washington is reusing discredited information from other states. We'll have a side-by-side -side comparison. New polling data shows us with a healthy lead in several states, but some of the numbers don't quite add up. And new protections from the Obama administration could save LGBT couples from forced deportation. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage Newswatch for October 15th, 2012. A new anti-gay ad just launched in Washington, and it's a carbon copy of the same misleading, hurtful messages running in other marriage battleground states. We'll release an in-depth takedown of the ad's false claims in the next day or two, but in the meantime, take a look at how our opponents are reusing the same misinformation from one state to the next. Gays and lesbians already have the same legal rights as married couples. And same-sex couples already have the legal protections of marriage in virtually all matters. But marriage is more than a commitment between adults. It was created for the care and well-being of the next generation. Marriage is more than what adults want for themselves. It's also about the next generation. When laws like 74 have occurred elsewhere, people who disagree have faced lawsuits, fines, and punishment. When gay marriage has become law elsewhere, people who disagree with it have been fired, sued, fined, and punished. Don't, Don't redefine, redefine marriage. marriage. Vote Reject no on question one. Polling is still close in the states that will vote on the freedom to marry in just three weeks. A public policy polling survey in Minnesota shows the proposed marriage ban losing, but by just four percentage points. The ban is currently at 46% support, and it needs 50% to pass. Our lead is stronger in Maine, where a proposed marriage equality law has 55% support to 39% opposed. And we have polling data from the Washington Post on three states that don't have marriage on the ballot yet. The Post shows us ahead in Florida, 54 to 39%. In Virginia, they have us leading by 49 to 40 percent. And in Ohio, the Post shows us ahead by 52 to 37 percent. Now, these numbers are a little suspect. They're unusually strong in our favor, especially compared with trends established by other surveys. And while public support for the freedom to marry is definitely growing, we should treat the Post's numbers with some skepticism. Meanwhile, this week, the Obama administration issued new guidelines for binational couples facing deportation. The memo from U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement says that LGBT couples' marriages should be considered when deciding whether immigrants may remain in the country. Although the Federal Defense of Marriage Act still prevents the government from recognizing those marriages, the new guidelines provide an interim remedy until DOMA can be overturned. And finally, we're expecting big news from France in just two weeks. Ministers there are expected to approve a marriage equality law on October 31st. Those are the headlines. Visit AFER.org slash election2012 for ways that you can get involved in Maine, Minnesota, Maryland, and Washington with less than a month to go before the election. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. We'll see you next week.